What's up everyone and welcome back to the quarry. The curse is broken, Max. You can chill now. Oh, man. What the fuck? <laughs> Why am I on top of a fucking tree? Flora! Where the hell are my clothes? You gotta be kidding me. Ah, uh. <laughs> Gotta find Laura. Oh my god. <laughs> He's got Emma's clothes on. This is hilarious. Don't we should have just gone to the Harbinger Motel. Yeah, guys. I don't know how I feel about not going through with finding Silas. It's because of him that all of this is happening. She came back, but you ran after her. Nearly killed her as well. Stay or swim to shore? If we stay, I know we are safe. Laura left us here for a reason, so we don't kill anyone or get killed. That's the only reason she left you here. It's just one less person to think about. Much worse than it already is, right? Great. Just like the cartoons. It's been off and on all night. It gives us a little time. How do you figure? They don't like water, remember? Right, right. Oh, we should have just been swimming in the lake all night. And die of hypothermia? No. Hmm. But there was a boat. All right, well. We're good now. <laughs> Night's not over yet. These fuckers know we're in here, and they're coming back first chance they get. Great news, okay. All right, we gotta get a vantage point. A vantage point. So that means we need to head up upstairs. But let's just check the area before we go up there. 
just to see if we can't find anything. Oh, hell no. Let's shut down. What's not okay? So if something tries to get in, we might be able to hear it. But can you imagine? We could have just stayed on the boat until morning. That would have been crazy. Come on. Stay close, bro. Come here. Come here. Did we look in here? No, we haven't. Come on, Dylan. Let's grab this, whatever that is. What is that? Is that Abby's backpack? I guess there's nothing in there. Oh, that's the freezer. That Jacob said you don't want to get locked in there. So basically, if you get locked, you're trapped. We should stay clear of that. Let's investigate this place, just in case. I wonder what's gonna happen here. We just came back here, what, to regroup? Oh, look at them. They're still young. That must be Chris and his mom and dad. And we already know that dad got killed by Chris and Laura accidentally blew the mom's head off. Nice to put a name to a big mean face. So what, you're like Mr. H's brother, I guess? Who? The big dude from earlier, when you and Ryan went to the radio hut. Mr. H's brother, I guess? Right, right. <laughs> All right, let's go find our vantage point. Hopefully that will give us an edge. Oh, the High Priestess. Eliza was killed in the fire that broke out at her traveling show six years ago. Her ghost roams the woods of Hackett's quarry ever since, and she's been determined to get revenge on the Hackett family for what they've done. For what they did to her. Her tarot cards, once lost in the blaze, have allowed her to guide you through the night. Though her motives may not have been as transparent as first thought. Yeah, definitely. She was basically trying to get us to kill everyone because of her son Silas. But I can see the both sides of it. I mean, they are both innocent family. But if we don't stop Silas, he will continue attacking people and get the curse going, you know? How long has this guy been here? Large and overbearing, this regal painting of Septimus Prime. Did you forget who I am? Oil painting of Septimus Hackett holds pride of place on the lodge's chimney column. A long time ago. Long enough ago that it was okay to have an oil painting made of yourself. I kind of want an oil painting of me now. <laughs> Prepare for attack. Keep looking. No, keep looking. We're not ready for an attack right now. All right, Caitlin. Maybe I should keep looking. There you go. Chris, Caleb, and Kaylee. It's a shame we didn't get to see Kaylee or meet Kaylee. That's the classroom that the kids come in and learn about the camp. Ian, rest in peace Ian, we hardly knew you. Poor Ian, some camp mascot to kick it before camp starts. Well, hindsight, sounds about... A memorial to the deceased camp mascot, Ian. From the looks of the drawing, Ian was a sheep. 
but nobody got to meet him this year. Yup. That's because Chris right. ate him. We have a camp mascot? But no, we did. But you didn't hear? H hear what? He died before we got to camp. Uh, bummer. So all of this happened six years ago. It's a little bit of a tragic story, isn't it? The thing is, how did Silas get infected? Did Eliza make him like that? We don't know. Oh, we got something here as well. What's this? Trail cam footage. It's like they're looking for something. Yeah, in Chris's surveillance room. He's storing all the footage. I think you might be right. Archived trail cam footage from Hackett Wood, dating back six years. I remember Mr. H's cheesy ass announcements. Whoa. Careful with that, that's a camp relic. Relax, it's dead anyway. Ah, uh, RIP microphone. Discarded jewelry thrown off in a scuffle. The inscription revealed that it belongs to Bobby Hackett. What is it? A ring with a crest on it. Ah, very fancy. You can never pull it off. Sorry. I'm not trying to pull it off. So what's this crest? I guess the family had an emblem representing them. That's so weird. It feels like it's more like a cult rather than an actual normal family. All right, Septimus, Septicus, Septi, whatever. Let's go. Start the attack. Let's prepare for attack. Let's go. Caitlin, you have to remember you have no silver bullets. Every dusk and dawn all through the summer. What doesn't kill you'll make you stronger. stronger. We're here to lead the way. What? That meets for life, we're proud to say. say. Shout it straight and shout it loud. We're hacketeers. Two months and you never learn the words? Showtime, motherfuckers. Oh, Jacob. Jacob, Jacob, Jacob. <sighs> Fuck this whole night. I mean, if you just had let it go, none of this would have happened. I just wish I could tell you I'm sorry. More than anything. <laughs> Fuck. I just wanted one more night together. Is that too much to ask for? <laughs> Shit. Stop crying, you big baby. <gasps> Come on, Abby. 
keep it together. Not long till morning. <gasps> what was that? What the? What are you still standing here for? Why? Why? Run. Run, run. Okay, let's go, let's go. Get out of here, man. A children's chair? Is that what you're gonna use? The door. Oh damn, oh, what are these chair made out of? <laughs> I gotta help her. I gotta help her. You stay in here, Abby. Please. Let's think if, if we choose window and something else grab us. He's following. He's right behind me. Oh my god. He jumps down. <laughs> oh wow. Hide or run. Now keep going, keep going. Run. Caitlin! This way! Good, good. Over here, Caitlin! Caitlin, you don't have time for that, come on. Oh, no. No, I think we should go to Abby. She go to Silver Bullets. Investigate, go, go. Silver shells! Hey, I'm here! Wait, we got it, we got it. Load it up, man. Load it up. Load it up, man. Come on. Oh no. Did we put it in? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. I nearly missed. My analog just flipped up. One second later, I would have missed that shot. Now, who's this? Nick or Caleb? My heart is actually pumping just because of that shot. You got it? Yeah. I think yeah, we got, I got it. it, yeah. Hold on. What's going on? Oh. <laughs> I forgot about this lot. What? 
We are now on Route 919. Inquisitive. What exactly happened six years ago? Accusatory. How did you do it? Yeah, let's find out what happened six years ago. So what exactly happened six years ago? There was a fire that wiped out dozens of people, and now there's werewolves and a ghost that roams the woods looking for her lost baby boy. Which I've just put together is Silas. Oh, shit. It's a long story. No, it's not. There was a fire. Silas the wolf boy escaped, bit a bunch of your family. You failed to stop him. Burn. What happened in the past doesn't matter right now. Uh, it kind of does, actually. We need to know what we're up against, at least. What we're up against is a feral boy turned werewolf for the last six years has avoided being found. No matter what we did, every full moon we were out there looking, every single one. Now the son of a bitch is finally here. So what we're up against is my only chance to end this thing for good. So how do you even know where he is? How the hell are we gonna find him just driving down oh, the no. middle of the road? Oh. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch your head! Grab gun, take wheel. What happened to him? Did he hit his head? Take the wheel, take the wheel. Come on! No, 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 come on, come on. Come on. I got it. I got it. I got it. Just get down. Where's Ryan? Alright, uh, pull that up, pull that up. I hope Ryan got knocked out. Or where like, did he where go? is he? What happened to him? Disappeared. He's got to be nearby. Seriously, where's Ryan? No one is even acknowledging it. Crazy. I missed what happened. All right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's him there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. Oh wow. Are we there yet? Not yet. Are we there yet? Let's play a game. Look where we are. You're okay. Been better, but yeah. Sorry, Laura. Did you cut your hair? <laughs> Her hair looks way shorter when it's down. Over here. Got some blood. Leads through there. What the hell happened back here? Whoa. This is where we went off the road two months ago. You're trying to decide if you should shoot me in the head right now. Go ahead. That's what you want, I won't stop you. What? Normally, I'd have werewolf's blood cover our scent, but I'm all out, so we're high risk. We could be killed. You ready to end this? This isn't the end. Determine. Let's fucking do this. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's fucking do this. Go team.
Damn, this place has got some uncool vibes. The podcast didn't do it justice. You don't know the half of it. This is where I saw her. Her? I thought she was... I thought Max hit her, but then I was out here and she was something else. Who? The woman. The old woman. She was saying something over and over again. Oh my god, she was saying Silas. No, that's impossible who you're talking about. I saw her too. In the run tunnels. It's Eliza Vorez. Silas's mother. I think. You think? Who was she? Yeah, who was she? Who was she? She ran a traveling sideshow called Harem Scarum. Came here six years back. She kept her son in a cage. Called him Silas the Wolf Boy. Died in a fire. Some say she never left. The hag of Hackett's quarry. We've been looking for Silas ever since. How did the fire start? Really? You're still hiding stuff now? You blew half the head off my niece, Kaylee Hackett. One of the kindest, gentlest souls to ever walk this earth. And all she wanted to do was help that little boy. Locked in a cage by that freak show witch. What did she do? She just wanted to help him. Travis. She convinced Caleb to start a fire. It was just a distraction. It's May Bales. Give him enough time to get Silas out of his cage and give him his freedom. That's not what happened. No. Because within minutes, everybody was dead. You ever see Hayburn, Liza, whole crew? Kaylee managed to get Silas to freedom. But Caleb got bit in the process. Wow. We could just kill Caleb. No, man. How can we just say... We can just kill Caleb. I have a bad feeling about Caleb anyway. But taking Silas out is probably the best option. That's why you've been hunting him. Silas, I mean. Every full moon for six fucking years. Some hunter you are. I'm a bit confused because how old is Caleb? Because we've been fighting grown ass werewolf. Well, fighting is a bit much, but yeah, you know, you get what Listen. I mean. This is all that's left. Jesus Christ. Man. Any sign? Negative. Damn, I never saw any of this. I didn't even know this was here. Ryan, where are you going by yourself? Close. We must be close. Did you both see, see it too? Kind of wish I hadn't. Sam. What is it? Silas, the dog boy. That must be it. Careful. Fucking 
Jesus Christ. Oh my God. What's wrong? What are you waiting for? Shoot, you stupid girl! Hey, calm down, Travis. Raise gun. I'm sorry. You have to do it. Are you sure about this? Shoot. Yeah, we gotta do it. We have to do it. <sighs> we had to. Please, let's just... Let's just go. Before we... We have to see him like that in human form. It's too late for that. I bet you think you have it all figured out. I bet you think you're fucking clever. I tried to help you. I tried to warn you. I even started to like you. Not now. Not after this. I will not forget what you made them do to my Silas. I've been with you all night. And I'm not about to stop now just because the night's come to an end. No. Whenever you hear a noise in the dark, a whisper from the shadows, the breath on the back of your neck, that's gonna be me. I'll be there. Now I will never leave you. I'll never leave you. <laughs> Are you talking to me? I can't just turn the game off and then you're gonna leave me. <laughs> That was a rough night. Oh, the sun's coming up. Is that it? Are we done? Uh, we have extinguished the curse. It's finally the following day. Max Brindley survived the night. Max was cured of the werewolf curse when Ryan shot Chris Hackett with a silver shell. Bobby was mauled to death by his werewolf brother. And so was the dad. Chris was killed when his favorite counselor Ryan shot him with silver. This was the most shocking death for me. Chris Hackett's daughter Kaylee was shot and killed by Laura. Having successfully avoided infection, Jacob was freed from the Hackett's basement and survived the night. Nick survived the night and when Laura killed Silas, Nick's werewolf curse was lifted. After surviving the storm shelter with werewolf Emma, Abigail made it to Chris Hackett's surveillance room. Emma survived the night and thanks to Laura killing Silas, her werewolf curse was lifted. Dylan survived the night by taking refuge from Caleb in the kitchen. Caitlin survived the night by killing Caleb, curing all those infected by his lineage. Oh my god, he's still a boy. Abigail was able to pass silver shell to Caitlin. And that's what made us kill him. Travis survived the encounter with Silas and finally saw 
the end to the curse that had haunted his family for six years. Ryan was cured of the werewolf infection when he shot Chris and managed to survive the showdown with the white wolf. The Rocky Osiris with the silver shell curing every infected person who survived the night. The Rocky Osiris, the dog boy in his nest, the curse of Hackett's quarry is broken. I don't know if this is the best ending, but for me, I think that was a great ending. Just because I feel like justice was done. Psycho teens charged after summer camp massacre. <laughs> Psycho teens, one of my favorite punk bands. Okay, so I actually have a really hard time knowing if you're being sarcastic or not. I was being sarcastic. Okay, that actually is very unfair. I thought we'd done the whole Hackett's Quarry thing. Not this Hackett's Quarry thing. What was this, like three months ago? Old news, dude. Anton, introductions first. We are Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. I'm Grace. And I'm Anton. And together, we explore the possibility of supernatural involvement in real life everyday occurrences. And that's exactly what they are, real life everyday occurrences. With a shadow of spiritual supernatural occurrences. No. <sighs> okay, so I hope you've got hat insurance, Anton, because I'm about to blow your mind. Did you just ask if I had hat insurance? Yes, it's responsible to insure those things which mean the most to you. A hat. Yes. Okay, I know where your priorities lie. Go on. Anyway, there actually is a real reason that we're coming back to Hackett's Quarry. There have been some developments, and I've sourced some information. I remain skeptical, but I'm all ears. Under my hat. I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, God. Why? Why are you smiling? Stop it. I hate it. Why? I had braces. I have to make use of them sometimes. You do have very pretty teeth. Thank you. That's something that a lot of podcast listeners might not know about me. <clears throat> so, it just so happens I've got someone on the inside. So today's episode is going to have a bit of a show-and-tell vibe to it. Who do you know on the inside? The inside of where? What? You know someone on the inside? Don't we all have someone on the inside? You know, an inner critic that mm. says, Stop doing a podcast. No one's listening. You should listen to that voice, Grace. Okay, well, what I really meant is, let's call it an anonymous donation. You know, we're not the only ones who flagged this as a bizarre situation. Someone actually reached out to us. They sent us a package. Did you? You didn't open it. Anyone who... I don't trust anyone who listens to this show. Oh, I couldn't wait to open it. Surprise! Anonymous donation? Okay, you've always promised me since day one of this podcast that if you could see true evidence, you will consider all options, right? Did you not say that? I did say that, yes. I mean, I know you... Knowing for a fact that we would never see any evidence, I did say that. Okay, well, we've been sent information and we need to decide whether it's bizarre or bona fide. Okay, fine. Let's do this. For anyone listening at home, we are about to open a package from a mysterious person who listens to this show. If you are the one who sent us whatever it is, congrats, you got us. Sorry, the tape is just really, really, there's just so much tape on the package. Sorry, can you tell me with this? Do you have like a key I could like slice at it with? No, I don't want you to dull my key. Just use your fingers. But just give me your fucking key, my Tom. No. Give me your fucking key. No. Get your own key. Not like you lock your door. Of course I lock my door. What are you what are you hiding? What am I hiding? Do you not lock your doors? No, I have nothing to hide. You think that ghosts are real, but you don't lock your doors? No, ghosts couldn't open my doors. They could walk through my walls, Anton. Okay, you need to be more concerned with murderers. So, remember those missing hikers? Yeah. What if I showed you leaked photos from one of their cameras, photos that show them at Hackett's Quarry, supposedly where the camera was found? I would think that maybe they went there and they dropped their camera. Okay, Anton, let me ask you real quick. What makes you drop your camera? Uh, tripping over a root, um, being jostled, uh, in uneven, uh, row of cobblestones. What about being 
murdered. If you dropped your phone, you wouldn't go missing. Where are they now? I don't know. People get lost in the woods all the time. There's like hundreds of people a year. They could be anywhere. That's not all. No? Mm -mm. I'm about to lay a little something else on you. My sources also tell me that their backpacks were found at the summer camp. Really? Then, okay, well then, shouldn't this be public knowledge? Why aren't the Hackett's prime suspects? Exactly my point. Maybe they would be if anyone knew where they were. Is it all just a big cover-up operation? Yeah, that's where it falls apart a bit, in my opinion. So, we've got to talk a little more about the Hackett family. Right, so these guys are like the heritage landowners, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Their great-great-great-grandparents were trappers who claimed the land way back when. They just claimed it? Yes, they did. They put their flag on it just like the man on the moon. The Hackett family flag, right. Well, apparently when they claimed it, they found quartzite. Quartzite? Okay, I was hoping you would ask. Fun fact, every building in the whole of New York is made of quartzite. That's not fun or a fact. Most of them are. But I digest. Digress? It was a pun. They dug the quarry and hit great heights of success before Septimus Hackett, classic bad guy name, the seventh son of the trappers, the number seven, has great supernatural powers, uh -huh. closed the mine down. Okay, so then they only had the land to live off. Yes, you say only, but this land actually spans acres. That's a lot of forest. A lot of unexplored darkness. Ooh, okay, a great place to hide, to have all these dark secrets for this strange, reclusive family. Mm hmm and this is where we start to get a little more into paranormal territory. Okay, here acres we go. Acres and acres of haunted woods. If you say so. Welcome to Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. Welcome back to Bizarre Yet Bonafide. Anton, today I'm actually going to pass you some light rating. Okay, you're going to make me read this? Mm-hmm. All right, um, this is... What you're seeing now is a copy of a letter that Kaylee Hackett wrote to her grandma, allegedly. <sighs> All right, uh, this seems like more of a you job, but I suppose right, I can read I, this. Right, but I feel like if some of the evidence comes from your mouth, it will have more clout. Right, okay, here we go. Gammy, how long we gonna drag this shit out? Mm. I know family is the most important thing, but I want to know what's outside the forest, outside this damn house and camp, and I sure as hell know that ain't about to happen because of who we are. Maybe we can explain what's going on. Fucking show people. Then they'll know we got no control over it. I know you're just trying to protect us, but one day you won't be here no more, and right now it feels like we stuck in a dark hole. I can't sleep, Gammy, or if I do, I dream about that fucking fire. We were just dumbass kids back then. I wish it never happened. Love, K, X, O, X, O. That took a turn. Yes. Dream about that fucking fire. Does that not read as the haunted scribblings of someone who saw something that they shouldn't have seen? Yeah, no, I'm fully creeped out. She was clearly going through some stuff. And this is legit? I mean, I don't know why someone would fake it. Then again, I can't verify any of this. So, you've got to suspend your disbelief slightly. Man, this poor girl. Yeah, there was something going on, something eating away at her. And that's what I want to explore. Okay, well, consider my disbelief suspended. For now. So, I don't think that's going to be a problem for this next one. Oh god, why? Holy shit! This is a cease and desist letter. And it's addressed to us. Dude, why didn't you tell me about this? Well, it was never actually sent. That's mad shit, fam. What? 
signed by Travis Hackett. We're not doing anything illegal. Aren't we? Think about it. I guess it wasn't technically sent to us. Cease and desist letters come from people hiding stuff. Hmm. Okay. And next we have this empty vial thing. Now to me, empty implies that it was once full. Same Z's. Bloodstains, maybe? Filled with blood? Looks that way. Freaky. Some kind of ritual thing? Do I detect a hint of belief? Love a good ritual. Kind of fucked up that these guys know who we are, though. Okay. Anton, what you see next pretty much confirms it. They are a crackpot conspiracy theorist a loser? Shit went down at Hackett's Quarry this summer. Real. Supernatch. Shit. See, you always say things like this, and you're always overselling it. You always have to oversell something to even sell it. That's capitalism, baby. All right. Okay, this is actual footage from one of the trail cams in Hackett Woods. Oh, cool, a camera in the middle of the woods? Did they find a squirrel? Be honest, if it was mounted on a mountain bike, you would watch that whole video. Yes, of course. Is there a mountain bike involved? No, but take a look anyways. Okay. That is a bear? That is a bear to you? There is no way that is a bear. Okay, well, it uh, a skinny bear? Okay, this could be some of the clearest footage of something like this I've ever seen. Right, it's kind of blurry, though. Blurry and convincing. Sometimes the truth can't be contained within the lines. Right, yeah. And also, footage is pretty easy to fake. Technology is super scary. Yeah, but what the hell were the Hackett's doing with footage like this anyways? Huh, yeah, that's a good point. Weird little video of a skinny bear. Yeah, I don't know. Again, you keep saying a skinny bear. Have you seen a skinny bear? Yes, that's Bears very sad. Oh. Yeah, polar bears, it's hard for them to find food sometimes. Don't feel too bad for them though, they're nasty. Okay, but putting the Hackett family aside for a moment, there's more to this. Are you ready for some real spooky shit? I'm ready for real spooky shit. I don't know if you can provide it, but please try. Don't get too freaked out. I'll try my hardest. Okay. Do you want to hold my hand? No. Okay. Do you need someone to comfortingly pat your back? Please just say what you're going to say. Do you want me to turn all the lights on so you don't I don't want you scared? to do anything. I want you to say what you have. Okay. So what's this? What are we looking at now? A photo by one of the counselors. Emma Mountebank downloaded from her phone. Oh my God. Is this real? Well... <laughs> That is what we're here to discuss. Okay, this looks shopped. I mean, doesn't it? Okay, but w if you downloaded photos from my phone, yes, they would all be shopped as well. There would be a filter on it to make my eyes look big and cheeks look pink. But I don't even think that has even any of those filters. Look at the eyes and tell me that's not real danger. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, weird, bizarre, yet bona fide. What the hell happened? More than we are being told. Yeah? There's something else, too. Okay. <sighs> Look at what happens when I put it through a negative filter. Whoa! Okay, what is that? It's her! The hag of Hackett's quarry! See? Full circle! God! Uh, uh, no, 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 no. That could be anything. Like what? Please, try to explain I, I don't know that what's that thing. There's this thing that makes your mind. You see faces and stuff. There's people. There, there's Jesus shows up on toast every once in a while. This could be whatever. Well, I don't need to hear too much more about your breakfast, but I can't believe that you're still questioning this. You're doubting your own cynicism now, though. I can tell. I can smell the doubt that you usually apply to other things on yourself. Picks or didn't happen, right? Well, picks so did happen. No, picks... You can fabricate experiences you can't. I need to, I, I would need to see the Hag of Hackett's Quarry myself. Well, if you want to go to North Kill with me, no, I actually have a really I don't. good okay. relationship. I believe you. Okay, but you know what? I have something that couldn't be fabricated. Claw marks in a wall. I, I could make this right now. Really? Just f find me a wall, I'll take a fork and just go to town. What an artisan. Thanks. Well, to me, this isn't actually 
overtly supernatural because it could have just been you know an animal or someone's angry parrot but it'd be unfair not to discuss why because the audience has come to expect a certain length of the podcast so we actually have to sometimes do a little bit of filler yeah that's true we don't have much to talk about well whoever did reach out thought it was worth sharing there's a chance this is all just a prank you know it was just a prank, Anton! Who even are you? It's probably just some teenager who's making fun of you. It's probably that dude who came on and gave us a one-star review. I would love to tell you that that's implausible, but a teenager making fun of me is probably the most familiar experience of my life. Moving on! How about this? Tell me this isn't freaky as shit. Oh! Is that skin? Skin. Fur. Whatever you want to call it, really. Okay, it looks human. Is that a tattoo? I don't think so. Or maybe a really bad one. Wait. Is it? Apparently, this belongs to whatever creature supposedly caused all this. Okay, do we have the actual thing? Did they capture it? Can I can I see it in the uh, in its weird flesh, so to speak? You want to touch the flesh. I want to touch the flesh. Well, Fortunately, the person who sent this to me was smart enough to know that it would be dangerous to steal the actual evidence, not to mention they might suspect that you, Anton, would hide it away so as to sabotage this legitimate investigation. Right, I am known for destroying evidence. Convenient that we can't see the real deal, huh? Come on, man, you're desperate not to believe. If there's reasonable doubt, you have to assume it's not real, Occam's Razor. But look at everything we've seen. Put it all together, objectively. Okay. You know what? It's weird. I'll give you that. Oh my god. I just said it was weird. Don't make a big deal out of it. Oh my god, I've done it. You haven't done anything. I said it was weird. I've done it. I've turned you. You're... I've converted you to my side. You're a believer now, right? I will never be on your side. I won. I won. You did not win. This I mean, is look, a contest and I have prevailed. You have not. Look, I just mean I can see it. The lack of details in the news report and this stuff. Uh, I don't know. Whatever it means, there's merit to the idea that something strange went down. Strange. Interesting word choice. So, what are you saying? Shut up. Come on. No. Give me what I I'm want. I'm not here. giving you anything. You've practically given it. Just give me the succinct sound bite I so desperately long for. Okay, I never agreed to this title, but I would agree that for the first time ever, this case could well be bizarre yet bona fide. Ah! This is the best day of my life. And that's sad. Why? Is it not yours? No. So what now? Well, we got to send this stuff to the police. They can decide whether it's useful or not. I just wish we could know more. I wish we could just look into a crystal ball and see how it all played out. Yeah, but what fun would that be? Sure, we could speculate, but we weren't there. We didn't go through what these kids went through. There's no way we'll ever really know what truly went down at Hackett's Quarry. Um, who the fuck even are you? I'm being genuine. That was beautiful. Thank you. You just launched into precisely the kind of content I've been trying to make. It's just the first time we've had a coherent thought on this podcast. 